So there's these live oaks everywhere and a lot of them, especially the older ones, uh, all over are just you know, giving forth lots of acorns. This particular tree, a lot of them are pretty small, other trees are bigger. I'm not going to show you my best tree, but here's, here's a tree. So you can see some of them. So as you can see I've gathered a good amount of nuts. So I wash them up and then uh, dry them out. So as you can see now I've rinsed off the acorns. Um, now I just want to dry them off um, so they don't mold or anything like that. And then they should keep for quite a while and you can use them as needed. Um, and you, but of course you have to shell them and then we need to leach out the tannins first before you can eat them. So I've just been gently cooking them, well not cooking, but warming them at 250 for about half an hour to dry them off. See there they are. Looks like they're pretty dry. Some of them have split open a little bit. That'll make the cracking process slightly easier perhaps. Also this will kill any unwanted fauna that happen to be residing in them currently. There you can kind of see where some uh, acorn oil has seeped out of one of the acorns. You can use these for oil, like you can most nuts. To shell these, if I had quite a few of them, I'd use a large heavy rock and smash, you know, most or all of them in one fell swoop. But I'm just going to use a hammer, I guess, for these, see how that goes. On some, like this one, you'll see where... Um, you can see the worm there, where the worms have gotten into them, so you can just uh, discard these unless you're very hungry. Um, I imagine you'd probably still be able to eat it, and the, but uh, you know the nuclear attack hasn't come just yet, so probably you can let the squirrels or whatever eat these. <laughs> I think next time I'm gonna go the uh, you know large flat rock smashing method. Anyway, there's our nuts, our nut meat rather. Um, so now it's just time to add water and let's start leaching. These are uh, live oak acorns, which aren't considered one of the better varieties, but um, they are edible nonetheless and quite abundant around here. They say one tree in a good year can drop about one ton of acorns, so you can imagine um, you know, they're a pretty good food resource. And actually, uh, people in northern latitudes before agriculture, this was one of the main uh, food sources uh, prior to agriculture. They're uh, fairly oily, which I think is probably a good thing. I'm not using these for oil. You can extract the oil. Um, but I imagine, you know, the oil is probably flavor or something. Um, but we're going to get rid of the tannic acid. Um, if you want, you can actually collect the tannic acid and use that for other things. Um, so, I'm not going to do that this time. So now I'm just adding water. I'm gonna boil these and uh, keep pouring off the water as it, you know, I do it about five times or more. 
Um, you know, each change of water will uh, draw off more tannins. And uh, the tannins, basically, they'll make you pretty sick, you know, stomach cramps and so forth. So you don't really want to eat these. Some varieties of acorns have fewer tannins than others. Um, certain legendary varieties are you can supposedly eat without prior preparation, but better safe than sorry, and these almost certainly are of the variety that you do need to do this prior. If you did eat, you know, some of these, it's not like you'd die or anything, um, unless you have a nut allergy, of course. Of course, if you if you do, uh, you probably shouldn't even be watching this video, given as how full of nuts it is. What you can do for the first few times, actually, is without even boiling, just kind of pour off. Um, you'll see kind of a, I don't know what it is, but you can pour off some of the juices already leaking out um, prior to even boiling it so that they're nice and clean by the time you actually do start boiling. Here we are after the first boil and as you can see the water is quite brown now um, so that's all the some of the tans we've been leaching out. Um, so you pour that off basically repeat this process until the water is clear. Uh, you might be wondering, you know, tannins, that's in wine and everything. Uh, you know, it is, you can't eat tannins. The problem here is, you know, it's just the high concentration that, you know, there's far more tannins in, uh, in these acorns, high concentration more than our bodies can handle. Um, and it is the, you know, the tannins in the oak barrels uh, leaching into the, into the wine, same idea as this that gives wine its flavor. We just want to bring down the tannin level to an acceptable level for human consumption. So I've boiled them several times now. Um, so now basically what you want to do is test them and you know eat a little bit piece and see if it's still really bitter or if it's nice and sweet and nutty. So I have this little piece of fake corn so let's uh, you know pop it in your mouth. Pretty good. Not bitter at all. Kind of, you know, so has that nutty flavor. So then, now that they're edible, you can, uh, you know, grind them into flour, all sorts of stuff you can do. Uh, I'm just going to roast them again in, on the oven. Um, you know, kind of eat like peanuts basically. So I have the acorns in the pan. Um, now I just need to turn the oven on, 350 degrees, and we'll put them in there for about an hour. If you want, you can take this opportunity to, you know, salt them or add sugar, honey, um, you know, any sort of seasoning or flavoring you wanted. Uh, basically, you know, same as any, uh, you know, roasted peanuts you'd get at the grocery store. Um, you could also grind them into flour, use them in cookies, basically anything, any recipe where you that calls for nuts. You know, these are nuts. Have a have at it. Take them out of the oven now. Look fairly well roasted. I, you know, need to adjust the cooking times and everything once we get the hang of this. Um, I'm sure, they're pretty hot. Look pretty good though. Smell nice. I could add, you know, like honey or something like that, or um, you know, pretty much all sorts of different seasonings and so forth. Here's some acorns. Smell pretty good. Not bad at all. Not better. Not enough of the tannins though. Very, you know. Really nice nutty flavor. Um, you know, highly recommended. It's a lot of work. Um, and there's other methods you can use for leaching the tannins out. There's a cold water method that takes a lot longer, but a lot less labor intensive. Um, so I, you know, I think I'll probably keep doing this. Uh, you know, I just kind of need to get the hang of it a little bit more. But 
So far so good. Healthy, uh, free food source basically.